<laughs> the little buggers buzzing about. Just because if I can just push it back with the old plow lot. Whoa, yeah, you see that lot? There's, yeah, there's a lot there. Alright, it should be out of the way now. I probably think this is a king wasp, queen wasp, this thing. Same colours. Not quite as big as any. Yeah, there's a good few there. I'll leave, <laughs> I'll leave them to their own devices. Blooming things. Hey, it's starting to. Ooh, starting to zap a bit. If you flying around the tractor, I don't care, I'm in here. I don't think they can get in. <laughs> well, I hope not. Oh yeah, there's a few floating around. <laughs> so we're on the go. Now over noise. You see we pressed um, what I did the other day, just to make sure it didn't go too, uh, too hard like. It'll be a pain to knock down. But uh, the further we go over the field, the, the, uh, sort of, yeah, the easier it gets, the larger it gets. So. And uh, that's playing over a treat there, really, isn't it? Can't deny that. The old DP7E doing the job. Right, so we're just coming up to uh, the first uh, sort of extension of the field. So this next pass will be full length, slightly on the angle, but will be full length. But what I'm going to do is I am going to plough this headland out. Now sometimes I'll plough the headland all at once at the end. Sometimes, like today, I fancy ploughing it as I go. So I'm going to plough as I go today. So I'll lift out. And um, you'll see we've got, so I'm not actually using this, uh, the GPS. I'm using the camera on it, and as you can hopefully see, it's uh, I've got it um, set uh, looking at the top link, so I can see exactly uh, where my top link is when I adjust it. So, um, so that is the next seat, right? We want to get sort of roughly about lined up. So what we'll do, we'll we'll plough this headland out, you see, and then when we go carry on going back up and down that way, I know that doesn't make a lot of sense on the camera. Um, We'll have plowed out nicely, so let's just get uh, lined up so we take it all nicely. Make sure we get it all, and we'll go there. So where the top link will come in handy. So we're just going to lengthen that a smidge. We won't have a ridge then. Pull away nice and steadily. Lift up a smidge. So now we can um, 
pull the top link back in again, get that set about where it was, which is there. Turn around and uh, continue plowing out.
straight. Well, we can straighten that up. See our wasps? They love that sign. So, yeah, we'll, um, we can work at getting straight again as we go up and down, lot. Simple as. straight again as we progress over the field that's all you can do isn't it keep going at it lot It's all fun and games, isn't it? Feeling it doesn't feel like the best quality pipe in the world. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> look at that. That's why we've got a problem, man. Let me get you set. So, all right, that's obviously the size of the pipe originally, and that goes into there. Look at the size difference. How much that's expanded with the heat? You see that? Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, that's some, well, how chunky part that is, isn't it? We'll have to uh, replace that because that is, that ain't no good. That is not any good at all. So, um, so, I mean, all that, all it is is the air horn. So all we need is a cable tie and we kink it over. That gets us going. So this is what is in the legendary knob box. Um, kind of untidy at the minute, obviously got this box. Um, some, uh, they're the flashing lights, they're the, um, the rear lights. That is the other pair, but they've given up. So I, so I've got the original set there. A few plow spares and plow bolts and that sort of stuff. A few extra tools and that sort of stuff. But what I need to do in here, because we've got the, I need to sort these cables out a bit more as well. So they're out of the way, and then I'm gonna put in some sort of dividers so that um, like your toolbox can go in there and you can have got these tubs and stuff and it um, and it won't go anywhere. You know, they won't slide about, they don't really slide about anyway, like, but uh, I slide about even less then, wouldn't they? So I've got a cable tight. Well, it's always good to have some tools on board. Alright, there we go, that is that um, thing it off. So that should, well hopefully we'll fire up now and she'll build some air up again. Obviously um, a lot of all the tractors um, 
that can do without air, like say, like for example, the T7s. The T7s we've got, they've got air, but you don't need air. You know, you could have an air leak on them, and it wouldn't really affect operations because unless you've got a you know an air trailer on, because they don't require air to. Um, you know, to function, the air doesn't operate the brakes or anything like that, where on this, it does. So let's see what happens. glass of the dash because it had only affected um, uh, to my like tank three tank one was still holding air and um, I think the sentry is on tank one so the buzzer didn't go off to tell me I was low on air probably because actually um, although it was low on air on the three there you go we're, we're up we're cleared And put the brakes on. You know, if we would have dropped the air any more on one, yeah, we would have, the brakes would have gone on. So, right, that's just blown off. Turn it off again in a second. Let's see if we've got a leak on, on now at all. I think we're good now. That was a lot easier than I was, I was thinking. I was thinking, oh man, it's really buried under the cow. I'm going to have to have the cab floor out or something, but that seems to have cured it. Yeah, so we know what we've got to do, order some decent pipe and uh, reinstall that uh, that airline. But uh, that has got us going anyway, which is ideal. So we can, we can carry on. Shut the old knob box down. Shut the old bonnet, the old Cummins is just pairing along quite nicely. really need to check the plow because it weren't that long ago since I checked it lot. Right. Take that back down. Uh, we are all good. Right we'll carry on. Put the drop arms back in the in the back. Sort of, uh, there'll be some 
of stuff over in Ireland that uh, we don't tend to see. So uh, that'll be cool. And that is courtesy of Applied Concepts. Now you remember those guys, they were uh, the guys that brought out the, uh, the Barry Mount 350, uh, that monstrous compressor that we've got on the uh, back of the TW. Uh, the Aqua Blaster 100 that we shot blasted the uh, the trying to train with my hell of a job lot. Well, Bruce and the Quint did it. That, that set the that being shot blasted enabled a good coat of 2K paint to go on, and then obviously all the other stuff. So it made made the trailer basically, you know, laid the foundation of the, um, a really nice trailer. Those guys have kindly invited me over to look at their, basically their manufacturing facility in Ireland and because they're releasing the new Barium Mount 120 at the show. So it's going to be great to see the new bit of kit. Um, I think it's going to be really popular. Obviously it's um, sort of just a bit under half the size of the 350. Uh, it's roughly half the weight. The weight is probably the biggest thing about the 350. Um, well, if I was to get one of those systems, which I really am considering, I wouldn't be able to put it on the front of the fast track just because she would, you know, 1.3 ton, the 350 weight, so it, I'll overload the front axle on this. But the little 120, if she puts out plenty of air, she's only about 750 kilograms, so she would go on the front of the fast track. So it's going to be really interesting to see, and it's going to open up the the, the, uh, the tractor mounted uh, compressor market to a lot more people like that you know, haven't got the bigger tractors so uh, it's going to be really exciting to see that new bit of kit and uh, obviously see the, you know, the manufacturing facility um, I'll also be on the stand probably for both days at some point obviously keep an eye on you know, Facebook, Instagram and probably YouTube short so I might go live and um, tell you sort of what time I'll be on the stand. Um, just to you know, meet you guys, I mean, it'll be a different audience. I've got, um, you know, uh, I've met a few of the Irish chaps at, um, uh, at uh, Lama, but uh, obviously um, there'll be you know, quite a few of you over there that'll be, it'll be nice to catch up with and, um, and uh, just meet some different folks like. So, uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. That's going to be, um, take up quite a bit of next week. So, uh, but yeah, really, really looking forward to it. It's going to be good. It's going to be really good. What you call a bit of light. I've definitely got to raise that light bar up a bit so I get the benefit of that when I'm doing a job like this as well. Um, so I don't really want the box any lower because um, like if I was to stop now the box is you know, only a few inches off the ground. It's alright normally like but obviously when you stop the weight goes onto the front axle sort of thing so um, so yeah. I need to lift that light bar up a bit, but uh, yeah, there you go, you start to see a little bit of the benefit. Oh, 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 oh. That is some, there's some light bar. There's some lights. Right, so I'm done for the night. I ain't got a lot of diesel left. I've got a headache. And I'm hungry, so. Uh, I'm heading home, so we'll get the old, uh, get a flasher on the back, and then we'll put the uh, rear lights on, there you go, uh, we'll turn the work lights off when I get out of the field, but uh, there you go, that, um, 
what's the rear of the old plough up, doesn't it, look? folks take notice of the flashing lights. Right, let's get out of here. Hazards off. Oh, right. Yeah, a bit of headache now. Oh, perhaps I'm drunk enough today. At least a bit of fast track, it won't take long to get home. Well, UTV lights, they, they do light the way up, don't they, lot? They work well. Yeah, they do full game. Blinding, please, blinding. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that flower bit. First time you've seen the old fast track on the plow. Uh, well, this fast track anyway. Um, yeah, like I say, keep uh, keep an eye out for updates of uh, when I'll be about at the Irish Power Match on the Applied Concept Stand. Be good to meet some of you again. And uh, see what um, see what uh, see what it's like. I really am uh, intrigued to see uh, to see what uh, the Irish Power Championships are like. And see all the gear there, like should be good. Should be really good. Anyway, look at that, that lights. Awesome. So I don't think we're getting the full effect of the um, light bar either. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm waffling now because I'm tired. I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta!